It seems like every day someone's trying to woo me with a brand new side hustle that's guaranteed to make a thousand dollars a day. But they never show me any actual proof that this stuff works and it seems like all the side hustles are rehashed information from websites I can read online anyway. So today what we're going to do is show you live actual side hustles that work. Not only that, but I'm actually going to go through and growth hack these side hustles so that you can follow along and actually make money doing them yourself. Come on, let me show you what I mean. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Today we are doing something unlike anyone else is doing. A lot of people out there are gonna talk to you about side hustles and how they're gonna make a ton of money online, but they're not gonna show you exactly how to do it. So today what I decided to do is something kind of difficult, but I think you're really gonna like it. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna go through and we are going to growth hack side hustles. And I might be saying, well, Marcus, what does growth hacking even mean? Well, according to Neil Patel and pretty much the rest of the internet, they think that growth hacking is about like making sure you create a product people actually want. Don't target. This is stuff that like, all right, I want a side hustle. I want something that's going to work. So let's talk about Marcus's idea of what growth hacking is. Now, my idea of growth hacking is to take something that works, right? We're gonna take something that we know works. And in this training, I'm gonna show you over 10 different side hustles that actually work, that actually make over $1,000 a day. Now, once we start at this base point and we look at it and we say, hey, check it out. This is something that's actually working. What we are going to do is reverse engineer it because if you were to look at my slides over here, right, we are going to see that in fact, good old Tony Robbins said, success leaves clues, all right? Now, what happens is on the internet, it basically leaves a paint by numbers roadmap. Now, we're also going to look at something called the 80-20 rule. The 80-20 rule is something that says that 20% of the stuff that you do is gonna provide 80% of the income. Now, when we look at this and we go over here, we're like, okay, well, Marcus, I know that you said reverse engineer it, let's make this work. And what, what are we gonna do here? What we're going to do is we're gonna look at the 20% of the stuff that other people are doing that's actually putting money in their pocket. Because let's face it, when it comes to this business, there's a lot of trial and error. There's a lot of things people go through. There's a lot of things that actually don't put money in our pocket, but very few that actually do. So if you're like me, Maybe you're out there and you're like, I want to growth hack these side hustles and I want to actually get results. I want to take a look at the 20% of the things that are actually working and use those. Because while everyone's out there talking about like, hey, yeah, here's a side hustle that makes $1,000 a day, go mow a thousand lawns for a dollar each, right? That's not something that I think you guys actually want to do. So today I am armed with 37, I think it is, pages of notes. We got side hustles that we're gonna go through. We're gonna reverse engineer them. We're gonna show you the stories of people that are actually out there getting results. We're gonna growth hack these and show you the 20% of the stuff that's making money so that you can follow along and do this too. It's actually extremely simple, all right? I guarantee that if you watch this entire training at the end, you will be glad you did if you're serious about making money online. That is my guarantee to you. And if you are in the comments, I challenge you to put me to the test. Watch the entire video, put a comment and say, you know what, Marcus doesn't know what he's talking about. Nobody should watch this video. All right, and then no one will watch it. You will have done a good deed and saved everyone from terrible videos. But if you actually get something from this, then I want you to smash a like button and I want you to let people know below so that they can be rid of all the things that actually don't work and talk about the things that do. This is extremely important. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna take a look at this 
And we're going to look at some of these things here. All right, now, when we go through, we're going to take a look at side hustle number one. Now, side hustle number one is something you may have heard of. This is justanswer.com. You go to Just Answer and you answer questions, right? So, like, maybe you're an expert on making coffee, and people are like, why does my coffee always taste like I don't know, whatever, is bitter or something like that. And you would answer questions and different things like that. Now, what we're seeing here is that there is a news report. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are actually pulling from the news. We're looking at side hustles that made the news that are actually making money. What does this mean? This means that case closed, they're making money. Plain and simple, you can't argue with that. Now, when we go through and reverse engineer these and take a look at what's going on, this is where the rubber's gonna meet the road. This guy here is an RV repairman, and I gotta tell you, I went on an RV trip with my dad, and it was a brand new RV, and everything seemed to break. The radio didn't work, the TV didn't work, we had to fix things and patch it up as we went along, and it was a big pain. But it was a wonderful trip, last time I spent with my dad, very, very cool stuff. Now, when we look at this, there's lots of people that wanna fix their RV. Right? And this guy is an RV repairman. Now we're gonna growth hack this and pay, pay attention because if you're like, Marcus, well, I don't know about RVs and I don't know about answering questions about RVs, don't worry. We're gonna look at what actually works because I guarantee in that you will find something that you can use to make money, lots and lots of money. So this RV repairman started answering internet questions on a lunch break. Now he makes $115,000 a year doing so. So let's take a look here. We got this here. This dude is 76 years old. He's answering questions. He's making six figures a year. What does he do? He goes to justanswer.com and he answers questions and gets paid to do so. Now, what can we learn from this? Because you might be saying, well, Marcus, you know, this is a side hustle good for him, but what am I going to do? What you're gonna do is you're gonna listen to your old buddy Marcus here. You're gonna smash a like button and you're gonna pay close attention because over here we can see that lots of people have questions online about lots and lots of different things. So when we look at this, we see that Just Answer ranks for lots of stuff, right? So Just Answer is a $140 million per year business. Why? because people have questions online. I actually went through and I used Ahrefs over here to take a look at just the motor home page. Now, just the motor home page on Just Answer has over 21,000 keywords, gets over 2,800 searches a month. Now, there's several other um, different domains that relate to this RV stuff. And I want you to think, okay? If you're thinking that this is about RVs and you don't know about RVs, it's not gonna work, then you're missing the point. The point is, people have lots of questions online. So you could go, like this guy, to Just Answer, and you could ask, answer questions about math homework, whatever this Zoom recorder thing is for my setup, this microphone, or how to do live streaming, or whatever it is, and you can answer questions. We can see here that on the main domain, they have two million keywords, over a million visitors a month, and I mean, they're making some good money. Right, $140 million a year is nothing to slouch about. Now, if you wanna do this as a side hustle, what we have to do is look at this as a whole and say, okay, 140 million a year, answering all kinds of questions. I'll bet maybe 500 grand, maybe a little bit more goes to motorhome stuff. We know that one guy's making 115, but I also know that there's all kinds of people that have questions about all kinds of stuff. Okay, so very important. We're looking at this and we're like, okay, cool. Now, what stuff are they looking at? Again, what we are talking about here is growth hacking, right? When we go through and find our chalk, I had some chalk, there we go. There's our chalk, right? When we go through and we look at this, what we're gonna see is that there is a roadmap to where he got where he's going. So if I take my notes here, and I look at what he's ranking for, right? We have Chevy 454 belt diagram motorhome. That's a pretty specific term. Now, think about this in whatever you might know about. Maybe you know about fixing uh, HVAC. Maybe you know about security systems or wireless cameras or Wi-Fi or how to set up computers so you can run an internet show or whatever it is that you know about. Maybe it's even you know just cooking or home remedies or whatever it is. 
And we're starting to look at this and say, okay, so we got the Chevy belt diagram. We got the Fleetwood RV battery wiring. We got all these keywords that are driving this money. Now, with this guy, it says he's making like $115,000 a year. And what we have to do is say, well, is there more? And the answer is, of course there's more out there. There are so many people with RVs, it's not even funny. Um, and they drive them RVs and the RVs break and they help them with it. Now, again, if you're not into RVs, don't worry. This will work for anything. Like here we have uh, different things about refrigerators or how to install tile or laminate or what is that other stuff called where they have like a sticker on the thing? I think that's called laminate or something. Linoleum, right? How to do all that. And we could see here on the screen that we have uh, other sites as well. So here's some keywords we have and the average monthly searches. Now take a look at the, the competition. The KB here, according to Ahrefs, and don't worry, you're not gonna need Ahrefs. We have some other stuff. If you can get it, you know, why not get the tools that work? Like, and I, you know, I could go hammer on the ground or I could get a jackhammer and, and make it work like crazy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna understand that these are very low comp. Here's another one. Right, you got Norcold RV refrigerator, 13,000 searches a month. So what we're seeing here is that this side hustle of answering questions online works very well. Now, what we need to do is we need to use our keyword tools. Maybe we're gonna use the free Ahrefs tool or the Hoth or something like that. And what we can do is we could say how to fix. And we're gonna see what people want to fix. Okay, and we're gonna see, okay, they wanna fix a zipper, um, all kinds of leaky faucet, right? Maybe someone is completely obsessed with like fixing the faucets and there's like 9,900 people a month. And maybe you're a plumber out there and you're like, man, you know, I don't like going and, and unclogging toilets all day. Maybe I'll just sit at home and answer questions about plumbing. Yes. That's an actual thing. Um, case in point, I got a buddy who does this with drywall. He does it with drywall. He teaches people how to fix and tape up drywall, stuff that clearly I don't know anything about, but luckily we were able to put this studio together without any hiccups, although sometimes the soundproofing stuff falls down. Good old Florida humidity likes to do that. So I just nail them back up. But at any rate, it would be nice to know about that. And you could see here how to fix a hole in the wall, how to fix a running toilet, sore throat, fix a sleep schedule, how to fix other things, garbage disposal. And you start to see here, wait a minute, there is so much stuff that people have questions about. Now, let me let you in on a little secret. All right, just answer likes to take some of the money. And I like to keep the money. I want to put the money right here. I don't want to give it to someone else. And what this guy could do, because the, the answers he's giving, he's giving them anyway. Okay, let me show you. This is growth hacking. This is my version of growth hacking. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all those keywords and all the stuff he answered on Just Answer, and he's going to keep a log of them. Just keep them in like a text file. Title those your keyword. Start a blog put some ads on the blog, make some money. It's super easy, right? People overcomplicate this because they're like, well, Marcus, you know, do I need SEO? Do I need, no. Just answer the question that people are, are talking about and you're good to go. And we start to understand here, like, wait a minute. Yes, I could actually reverse engineer these and that's exactly what these three sites are doing right here, okay? And ladies and gentlemen, I practice what I preach. I actually bought and helped someone with a site in this niche. All right, so we have do-it-yourself RV, $36,000 a month in traffic volume. I'm gonna say that that's on the low side because RV traffic is worth a lot because RVs are expensive and everything like that, okay? Here's another one, RV Repair Club, 56,000. And these are simply about how to repair an RV. And we're starting to look at it and say, okay, that guy made 115 grand a year. These guys are combined making about 90 something thousand a month, right? And we start to see, wait a minute, this is a big niche. This is only two people. That's on Just Answers. I'm starting to see it. How many of you guys are seeing it? Smash a like button. Let me know. I want to make sure that you guys are getting this because if you don't get this one, Hopefully you'll get another one. There's lots of side hustles we're gonna go through here. And I want you to really pay attention because here we go, right? This is stuff that actually 
works. This is stuff that the rubber meets the road. Can you make $1,000 a day with RV answers and, and, and questions? Well, yeah, these people are doing it. Now, disclaimer, ladies and gentlemen, the results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. All right, lots of people out there, they're gonna say, you're gonna get $200 a day, $1,000 a day. It's guaranteed. You're just gonna get money from everywhere. Guaranteed, just watch my video, right? That's not the case. The average person trying to make money online makes nothing. But what I'm teaching you today is how to growth hack the people that do make money and actually get results. Because here we see two people that are doing this. Now, if you wanna growth hack this even further, what I did is I went and bought at auction teardroptrailerbuild.com. All right, this domain, it wasn't cheap, but it cost me, it was like 600 bucks. It wasn't like over the moon expensive. And I only bought it because I knew, push came to shove, I could sell it and get my $600 back easy. But what this did is it actually ranked for all kinds of stuff. So if I pull this up here uh, in our Ahrefs keyword tool, let me show you how this works and why. Because if you could growth hack and pair it with domains and put everything together that's already working, it's, it's unstoppable, right? So let's go to teardroptrailerbuild.com. Got to sound it out, otherwise I will spell it wrong. All right, now, when you buy these domains, they do fluctuate a little bit. So, you know, the rankings kind of drop and grow. And when we put content up, it'll shoot back up really quickly. Now, when we look at this, we could see it's got backlinks. We could see it had all kinds of rankings and different things like that. Okay, and we're like, okay, cool. Now, all I do is look at usually like maybe a year of the search results. And I could just build this up. It tells me what content to make. Right, and this is exactly what you do. Right, there's no, you don't gotta buy anything. All right, if you wanna buy something, you could buy a domain from me that already has the rankings. We sell them all the time. Right, teardrop camper kits. And these are talking about all the different things that people are looking up. And the idea is, hey, if I could rank in Google for keywords that people are searching for, I can put them to just answer as an affiliate, even if I'm not an expert. I could make um, ads on the site, make money with the ads. Again, these are gonna be super expensive because RV stuff gets a lot of money. So we're gonna start to understand this and we're gonna say, yes, this is something I can do. If you think this is something you can do, if this is different than all the other stuff you've been watching and you're like, oh my gosh, Marcus, you're actually telling me what to do. This isn't like, hey, you wanna make $1,000 a day? Then all you gotta do is go do something a thousand times for a dollar. It's like, okay, well, what do I do? Well, you're gonna learn that in the next video. And then you're like, wait a minute, I didn't learn it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you exactly how this works. And we got, I think we got 11 or 12 total. So we got quite a few uh, we're gonna go to. And don't skip ahead. Watch this at least one time because there might be one of these that is your key to making a living online, okay? Next up, we have the Etsy side hustle here. This is, again, a news report from 2022. This gal is making uh, six figures on Etsy selling candles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, well, can I growth hack it, right? Type in the box, say, let's growth hack it or growth hack or whatever it is. And we're gonna take a look at what these people are doing, how it works and how to get involved. And we can go through and say, well, let's go to our free keyword tool and let's do candle, all right? Hopefully this is all clean results. Sometimes they're not, but it looks pretty good, all right? Sometimes people buy some interesting candles, but we're gonna take a look here and say, look it, there's millions and millions of people looking up candles each and every month. Now, if we go over to like Jungle Scout or something like that, we do product research. Now, Jungle Scout's a paid tool, but hey, it works, so it's not super expensive. I think it's like, I don't know, 30 bucks or something like that. But if we go here and we type something in like candle, okay, what we're gonna see is Amazon. Now, Amazon is the 800 pound gorilla, right? He's like, ooh, 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 big gorilla. And he's going out there and he gets lots of sales, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna look at that gorilla and we're gonna be like, okay, what's going on here and how can I emulate it, all right? We're gonna go over here, we're gonna go to monthly revenue because I want stuff that actually sells, right? And if you guys are excited, smash the like button and type let's growth hack Marcus's way, not this way. This way, 
is too much work and it's not going to give us the result we want. So what we're going to do here is we're going to growth hack this and we're going to say, hey, here's this candle that's making two million a month, six million a month. All right. So what does that tell us? What that tells me is, hey, wait a minute, something about orange essential oils with candles is big. Here's another one for holiday, some kind of um, diffuser, right? And we're looking at this and we're like, okay, millions of dollars a month being sold with candles. Now, what I want to do is I want to say it in the chat. I want to growth hack them, right? And I want to go through and be like, okay, here we got all this stuff. How do we growth hack it and how do I do something? So I got orange, I got lemon, I got Christmas cookie. Definitely want to make sure it's not um, trademarked. Now, here's one I actually like. This is one um, myrrh, right? You know, like the old Bible story, they brought them to gold and to frankincense and myrrh, uh, which means religious people like it, which means I could sell that to religious people day in and day out like crazy. Just upload a bunch of Bible videos, talk about how myrrh, helps, I don't know, like maybe calms you or something. I would do the research and figure it out. But now we know, hey, this is working. This is what people are doing. So we could go through and growth hack what she's doing. You can see uh, her candle stuff. And again, don't copy. We are using search data and looking at what people are doing. Like here I can see her bestseller is a diffuser bottle, right? So I could go through, look up diffuser, see what's going on, and bada bing, bada boom, there we go. Okay, very, very cool. Uh, someone says, ever noticed that the text and images for Amazon never work? Text and images for Amazon. I don't know what you're talking about, but at any rate, we're going to go through and we're like, hey, check this out. This is something that's really cool. This is something that really works. And we're like, hey, here we go. Are you talking about in Jungle Scout? I mean, I think they do. Yeah, usually it'll take you to uh, the page if you click it. Okay, so very simple. We're like, yeah, this is cool. This is something that actually works. Now, we can also use a tool car called Marmalade. Okay, Marmalade is a great tool, and it'll show you how many searches, how many engagements on Etsy. So now we're looking at someone who does this on Etsy. We know for a fact, right, the idea here is that we want to get our facts in a row, all right? Some people call them ducks. So we'll make a duck here. I don't know, we're gonna try to make a duck. All right, there's his feet. There's our duck, all right? And we gotta get our duck. Sorry, I, I completely apologize. This duck needs some help. Let's just give him like, a, I don't know, an eye. There we go, that'll work. But this duck, we gotta get our duck in a row. And we need to say our duck is our facts. All right, because here's the deal. When you're looking at side hustles, when you're looking at this stuff, what happens is most people are just watching gurus and they're getting bad data. Very important, they're getting bad data, right? Because the, the most people that are making videos on this stuff are talking about things that they haven't actually tried and they haven't taken the time to do the research on them, right? These videos, this video took me about four days to research for you, all right? This takes a lot of work. Why do I do it? Because I want to give you good info and I want to make good money. And making good money comes to making good decisions and making good decisions comes from good data. All right, and we have to look at the data. The data is our duck and he is going to show us how it works. Now, when we look at this, we're like, okay, can I sell candles on Etsy? Well, let's take a look. Candles, uh, this is using the free Ahrefs keyword tool. And we go through and we're like, okay, here we go. We got all kinds of different candles, flameless candles, scented candles, whatever that is. I think that's like lemon, uh, birthday, floating, beeswax, all kinds of different things like this, right? Now we can see other here we have, I think this was for Amazon and then this was for Google as a whole. And we can see that the competition isn't that much. Now, again, when we are growth hacking these side hustles, we need to understand where they're getting their traffic, okay? Again, data is key. So if we go over here and we take a look at this site, okay, or this gal that's doing the Etsy stuff, okay, we're gonna take a look at what they're doing. And again, I got a bunch of notes on just this one because data is key. If you are spending most of your time watching videos, including mine, and not looking at the data, then you are doing this business wrong. You need to look at the data. Data doesn't lie, 
People can lie. People can make stuff up. People can be wrong. Data, if you get enough data sources and you look at it, you're going to be able to make good decisions. And making money comes down to good decisions. So when we look at this, we're going to say, OK, what is it that's actually selling? Now, I could see here lots of candles that are selling. Now, I can also see that a lot of these people that are doing side hustle videos, all right, they got something they don't tell you. There's a little secret that's actually making them money. All right, how many of you guys want that secret? Okay, Grinder. Um, if you want notes from this video, download mynotes.com. Um, it'll be emailed to you if you go to downloadmynotes.com, okay? And we'll have the whole notes. It's like a 40 page. I have to put it in a PDF so that it's nice and, and, and pretty. But if you want that secret, if you're like, yeah, Marcus, I've been watching side hustle videos. I, I try stuff, I put some stuff on Etsy, and I sit there and it's chirp, chirp, chirp. I don't make any money, okay? So what we gotta do here is we gotta look for the secret. And again, success leaves clues. The internet leaves a roadmap. A lot of these people that are doing this stuff, they also have YouTube channels, and they also have TikTok, all right? And Pinterest and different things like that. So if we look at this and we're like, wait a minute. So you're telling me that if I just go put a candle on Etsy, chances are I won't make money. Yeah, probably, okay? You, you might get lucky, but you know when they say, oh, you're gonna make a million dollars overnight, just put a candle on Etsy, sit back and put your feet up, it ain't gonna work like that, right? You gotta focus. Now, when we look at this, could I put a candle on Etsy, then make videos without even my face where I just show the candle? Yeah, I could do that. I could do that all day, every day. Some of these people um, show their face. Some of these people on Instagram, or uh, what's this one? Twitter, right? For the uh, hip people there. Uh, or not Twitter. What is my mind today? TikTok, right? Um, you can see they don't even have their face in it. They got some kind of like horse looking candle. They got an unfilled filter, underfilled candle, uh, some kind of birthday cake candle, some kind of mocha candle, and all kinds of stuff. Six million views, nine million views, 15 million. Do you think if you had a following on TikTok without even using your face, you don't even have to use your voice, you use some of the stuff that's already there, you film a candle, get some stock footage, there you go, right? If you had 15 million people and you're like, by the way, if you want my cereal bowl candle, go over here. Obviously, watch for safety. We saw the video on the pickle lady who made pickles and sold them and got people sick, and now she's facing jail time, I believe. You can't do that. You gotta focus on what's actually working. You gotta focus on real stuff. This is a business. We gotta, we gotta step up to the plate and treat it like a good business. This is super important. And we see here, hey, they got TikTok. Hey, they got YouTube. That's what's driving it. Here's another one with Etsy, and then we'll get into our next side hustle. This one, a former janitor is now a six-figure Etsy seller. All right, now I could see here 22,296 sales. That's a lot of sales. This gal up here with the candles, I think, did it say how many sales she had? 74,000 sales, okay? Now, she's got 1,600 products. This gal down here has 1,500 products. Okay, again, ladies and gentlemen, did you pay attention when I said the 80-20 rule? I guarantee if you go to her, there's probably three people, or not three people, three products that are bringing in most of the money. Guaranteed. So what do you want to do? Do you want to go put 1,500 products up and figure it out? Or do you want to growth hack it and make it work, right? If you can growth hack it and be like, okay, well, what is working? What are the best sellers? What are people searching for? What does the data say? When we understand that, the rubber meets the road and you are ready to make money. Because I don't want to do guest marketing. I don't do guest marketing. I don't want to be like, I hope that my t-shirt idea works because I think it's cute. No, no, no. I wanna look up what phrases people want on a t-shirt, make sure they're not copywritten or trademarked, put it on a t-shirt, and then sell it to the people looking up the phrase. Get it? Got it? Good, let's keep going. Uh, so this janitor here, now she's got a lot of personalized products. It seems like a lot of work to me. And take a look at this. Her shop is four years old, so it took her four years to get to 22,000 sales. She is among the top 1% of Etsy sellers. Okay, so she's making six figures, that puts her in the top 1%, which means that 99%, ah, 
are not making much money at all. Most of them probably aren't making anything. They watched a side hustle video, they got an Etsy, and now they're waiting for sales to come in. But what we're doing is we're talking about how to do this based on data, based on stuff that works. Next up, our next side hustle that we are going to uh, growth hack is blogging. You guys know that I'm a big fan of blogging, um, and not in the, the traditional way. Like I'm not, hey, I had Cheerios today and went on a bike ride. No, I'm like, I'm making a blog post about keywords so I can get ranked, so I can make money. I'm not blogging daily unless I have a blog that works daily, which we'll talk about. So this gal here, um, it says, my blog that I started as a side gig made six figures in revenue in the last year and it helped me pay off $40,000 worth of debt. All right, now it says that since, since then she scaled it up to 100,000 monthly page views. And for those that don't know, getting to that amount is a lot. However, you could see she did $120,000 in revenue in 2022. Again, I guarantee if we growth hack it and look at what the keywords are, we can see where the money's coming from. Ladies and gentlemen, you could literally see anything you want online in terms of keyword rankings, in terms of how people are doing things, in terms of how they're making money. This is so simple, right? People overcomplicate it because they're too busy spending five years to find the quick way to make money instead of just doing what actually works. And what I wanna do is what actually works. And that's what's made me successful. And that's what's made me do this for 23 years. Now, when we take a look at her, she has a arts and budgets. Now, when we look at her keywords, a lot of it is about feet pics, right? So like how to make money selling feet pics or whatever. But you can also see uh, printable budget template, budget printables. So budget printables is pretty good. The other stuff probably is making money because I know people are, they want to do that as a side hustle. Uh, frankly, I don't think I could do that, but you know, you look at it to each his own. And you see that a lot of it is about making money and blogs and things like that. But when we look at where the most traffic comes from and where they're making the most money, like a lot of blogs, you'll look at them and they're kind of confusing because the data is saying stuff that, that you wouldn't know to look at. Like there's one popular blog of a guy who does uh, make money stuff. And I think his number one keyword, which is like the top 10 keywords, is about some kind of video software. And it's a free video software, so it doesn't even, it doesn't even ping for like making money stuff. His one that's like 15 down on the list is uh, how to set up a website. I guarantee you, you go to the guy, you're like, what's your top earning post? He'll tell you it's the one about how to set up a website because that ties into web hosting. And when you start to understand this, you're like, oh, I get it. Now, instead of going out there and making all the blog posts he made that don't make money, I'm gonna focus on the one that does. Not only that, but I'm gonna focus on where I'm at. If I'm a new blog, I'm not gonna compete with some king of the hill. Right? I'm going to compete with people that are new. So maybe I'll go for less competitive keywords or something like that. And it's super, super, super important to look at. Okay? So uh, let's take a look at this next one here. The next side hustle we are going to growth hack. And if you guys are digging this, smash a like button. Uh, let me know in the box because I think you guys, I, I don't know, I, I put a lot of work into this video because I want you guys to go out there and be able to get results. I want you to go out there and be able to make money. I want you to understand exactly how this is working. Okay? Very important. So we're going to go through and we're like, okay, reading books online. This 34-year-old mom quit her job as a music teacher and now she makes six figures from her cozy mountaintop home. And there she is on the mountain. Now, over the last couple of years, she read 400 books. She used ACX, TikTok, and Instagram. Now, why is this important? Because most people, most videos are going to say, just go to ATX, show them your voice, and you're going to make money. Chirp, chirp didn't get any money, what's going on? Is this whole internet thing not what it's cracked up to be? Well, I think you got the wrong data to act on. If you're acting on wrong data, you're gonna get wrong results. If you're acting on bad data that doesn't make money, you are not going to get results. So let's look at the data. She says that over here, she has um, Fiverr, Audible, and Video Voices. So we're seeing that she does Audible, or I'm sorry, we're seeing she does a ACX, which is a place that you could go sign up, uh, use your name, okay? Or use your voice to make money. TikTok, all right? Instagram. Now, why do those fit? Because most people are just gonna look at the first one. However, 
She promoted a lot of her voice acting skills with TikTok and Instagram. She made videos on what she's doing. Very, very simple. Now, if we're going to do this, we could do this on Fiverr. You can go to Fiverr. Again, think differently. Think of how you can do it. Maybe instead of just voice acting, you can do, if it was me, maybe like a guy with a squeaky voice. Right? Maybe I'd put that on there for people that are looking for a voice that annoys everyone. Um, or maybe Audible, right? Or, or you could do video voices. Now, what I would do is I would make videos with my own voice and just put a link in the bottom that, hey, if you want me to do a voiceover for your video, uh, click here and then send them to your Fiverr. That'll boost your Fiverr. That'll get more people on Fiverr. That'll boost you up in the rankings. And bada bing, bada bang, that's how it works. Now, a lot of people don't realize that a lot of these side hustles, people are using boosters, okay? There's a lot of luck in some cases, and there's boosters in some cases. What is a booster? A booster is something that's going to boost you up. Maybe a backlink, maybe a YouTube channel, maybe a TikTok, maybe an Instagram, whatever it is, this is gonna help um, boost you up in the rankings, okay? Now, the next one's very similar. It's low content book side hustle. Again, this is very important. This one here, X Domino's employee started a business with just 10 pounds and now make six figures, all right? And this gal went out there and she set up a um, very simple business about low content books. You guys have seen low content books. I don't know if I have one around here, but it's basically like a blank book, uh, a blank planner, something like that, that people can use to write their thoughts and their ideas and their notes and whatever it is. Now, this ex Domino's employee, I didn't know they had Domino's in, in the UK, or maybe it's just a UK article, I don't know. Um, I don't know, Domino's isn't good in the US, so I assume it probably wouldn't be in the UK. But that's my personal preference. At any rate, so we look at this and we're like, okay, what is she doing? Well, she has this company called Lavendu, and they're making journals and planners for anxiety, self-care, self-empowerment, mental health. Okay, good. Now, did she, as many people here on YouTube say, just make a low content book, put it on Amazon, and all of a sudden she's rich? No, she did not. She did a lot of work. She promoted her Instagram, and she talked about anxiety on Instagram. She promoted her TikTok. She talked about self-help and self-care and uh, how she uses her journal. See, there she is, 12-second video. Here's how I use the journal. Woohoo! now I'm not anxious, or whatever it is. And you can see she's also got Facebook. She's also got Amazon. She's also got TikTok. And we start to understand, wait a minute, Marcus isn't even showing me the screen. There it is there, right? We could see here, I'll show you that again since I was not showing the screen. There we go. Um, you can see here she's got uh, Lovendu and she's got uh, TikTok videos, Facebook, Amazon. She's got TikTok here. And we could see that it's very simple, right? She's making little videos about these topics and then she gets paid which is cool. So a lot of times what you're gonna need with your side hustle is a little bit of extra magic that's gonna make it work, right? You're gonna go through and you'll be like, okay, I put a book on Amazon, great. If it's not selling, what do we do? We make it sell, plain and simple. You make it sell, that's what you're gonna do. You are going to make it sell. You're gonna go out there and say, who is gonna want this? Who's gonna give me money for this? How do I get involved in that market? And how do I make this work? And when you do that, everything starts to line up in a super, super easy way. And you're gonna to start to understand that, hey, this is how it all comes together, right? This is how it comes together, there you go. Now, the next one we're gonna look at here is another gal that's doing the um, low content books, which is very cool. I made $200,000 last year selling printables, mostly passive income. All right, so here we have this. And we're like, okay, she's selling PowerPoint and Canva templates and printables online. Cool, I like that. Because that's something people search for a lot. And we can see here, uh, PowerPoint templates, 816 reviews. That means they got quite a few sales. You can see that they're even doing like game templates, right? And we could see here, board game templates, uh, Jeopardy game template, obviously watch out for trademarks and things like that. But I think you're starting to get that, hey, wait a minute. If I add that little extra something to my online side hustle, then boom, there you go, right? And we start to understand this is how it works. And we're like, wait a minute. So that's what people are searching for. We simply take what we're doing, we put it in front of them, and we put money in our pocket.
right? Very simple, very easy. Now, this next side hustle we're gonna look at, you guys are probably all too familiar with. All right, keep it friendly in the comments, be nice to each other. All right, there you go. So we're gonna go through and we're like, okay, what is this one? And this is one that probably makes people think a little bit negative about making money online. But I included it because I think it's important to look at what's going on and to look at what people are doing in the niche. Unfortunately, a lot of people are just making make money videos to make money with ads. Now for me, a lot of people think that I do videos just to make money. However, um, my ad revenue is less than probably 5% of my total monthly, yearly income. Right, it's not very much at all. Now, it does help me drive other businesses and things like that, but this is something that I've been doing for 23 years. Right? I've been out there making blogs, making sites, doing videos, all kinds of things in all kinds of niches. And when you understand this, I think it's important because our next one is to be a guru on TikTok or YouTube, right? And we're going out there and we're like, wait a minute, this gal here, it says, I make six figures from home and three, here are three hustles you can do at night to earn you extra cash. Okay, so this gal came out of nowhere. She made a YouTube about um, how she's making money or how you can make money rather. And so we're like, okay, this is cool. And she does talk about how she makes money too, which we'll get into in a minute. All right, she makes pretty cool little videos, talks about stuff. Now, when we look at how they promote, I noticed something interesting, and I gotta warn you, there's a little bit of a drama alert here. All right, the drama alert is that this is something you're gonna see very prevalent on lots of videos in this niche. You'll never see it on my videos because I refuse to promote stuff like this, even though they will pay me a nice check. All right, so we're gonna go through and we're gonna take a look at this, okay? And we're gonna say to ourselves, all right, what is she doing? So she's got, 3.8 million likes, she's got 300,000, this, and then we went through and looked at how she's making money. One of the ways she's making money is by promoting a program called Legendary Marketer. Now, Legendary Marketer is one of those programs that um, I don't know the quality of the training, so I'm not gonna speak on that, but it is to where the idea is you buy this program so that you can sell this program and get money for people who buy the program, which, you know, if you stack it up, it kind of looks like Let's see, so, so we'll, we'll see here. It looks like I buy the program, good. Th then I sell the program and I make money selling the program and then I get, mo it kind of looks like a pyramid there, right? And these kind of programs are prevalent and they charge lots of money and the training might be good, but if the slant is all on, hey, sell the program so I can buy the program so you could sell the program, there's no actual real value being given to the consumer other than just selling and selling and selling and selling. You guys have seen these all the times. I, I, I had a guy come to me years ago and he's like, hey, promote my program. And I'm like, it looks like, it looks like a pyramid to me. And he's like, I'll give you an extra million dollars. And I'm like, it still looks like a pyramid. Even with a million dollars on it, it still looked like a pyramid. And guess what? That guy got popped by the FTC, but apparently he's just doing the same exact thing he got a, a wrist slap or something like that. But we're gonna look at this and we're like, okay, what are we doing here? Well, look at the list. On the leaderboard of that program, you will notice, wait a minute, wait a minute, Marcus. That looks like all the people that I watch the side hustle videos from. Yeah, exactly, right? You take a look, you look at the names, there they are. Um, now, to each his own, I personally don't choose to market stuff like this because at the end of the day, I want something you can do in a niche other than make money. Like if I ever come on here and I'm like, hey, sign up for my stuff, and then I'm like, you wanna make money? Go sell my stuff. Tell me to take a hike because that's not real. What I wanna do is I wanna say, hey, get on one of these side hustles, go out there and sell something in the motorhome niche or uh, the flower delivery niche or the romance niche or a niche that actually works, that actually serves people, right? Because here's the deal. If I tell you to go in the make money niche, it's one of the most competitive niches ever, which is why most people fail. Okay, so we gotta look at that, we gotta understand exactly what's going on, and keep it ethical, keep it good, follow the rules. You don't need to go out there and be shady and do weird things to make money. There's lots of ways you can make money in a good way. The next one here, uh, this one is to be and that, I didn't spend too much time watching that gal's videos, but from what I saw, they looked all right. Um, 
Again, I would promote something different, but hey, to each his own. Next up, we got beauty product reviews. I like this one because this gal uh, went out there and she was like, hey, I quit my teaching job to start my own beauty business. And she went out there and she started talking about beauty on uh, TikTok, which is a huge niche. People are always like doing their eyebrows and stuff. Personally, for me, I've never done my eyebrows. I don't think I'd ever pay anyone to do my eyebrows. I don't know, but at any rate, this gal over here is she's teaching beauty and different things like that. She's got a great side hustle making six figures a month. Now again, she's doing videos with herself on camera, putting the makeup on and doing different things like that, talking about her lifestyle and her business, which is pretty cool, right? And one of her products actually went viral. So if someone tells you that all you need to do is rebrand some makeup and put it on Amazon, that's not true. You need to do something else. And that's what growth hacking these is all about, is looking at the data and seeing why certain things work in certain ways so that we can make this work. Okay, very, very, very important. And we can growth hack this and say, well, what are the videos that did good? Maybe I'll make something like that. Here's another one. Uh, this is a screenshot for the word browse, right? And you could see all different kinds of browse that people are doing. Apparently, eyebrows is a ridiculously huge niche. Okay, so this is something that can be done. Um, again, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get good at selling. And by selling, I mean, hey, if you like the eyebrow stuff I used in this video, you know, check out the link in the description. Uh, the number one thing that people struggle with is asking for the sale. Ask for the sale, hey, you wanna do this, go over here. Um, like with this, if you guys get value out of this, Check out highticketniches.com. It's where I actually give you a site and help you do this whole process by looking at a niche, growth hacking it, and seeing how we can make it better. Now, the next one we have here is Poshmark. Poshmark is an interesting side hustle. Personally, I don't have time to go find things that I think will sell. I'm not a garage sale guy. But these people are doing it pretty good. They're getting old sneakers and shoes, and they're making like 200 grand a year in sales. Now, again, whenever you see the in sales, remember, they had to pay for the shoe. They had to pay for the shipping. They had to pay for this. So are they putting 200 grand? Where's my 200 grand? Over here somewhere, right? Are they putting it in their pocket? Probably not. Probably making, you know, 110, maybe 90. Something like that when all is said and done. Maybe a little bit more, I'm not sure the margins on it. But when we look at this, here's another gal. This gal uh, is doing Poshmark and she's got like a $735,000 a year uh, business. And let me put that screen on again, right? So here we have the Poshmark 200,000, um, this gal doing 735. Now what we wanna do is wanna look at what they're doing because the devil is in the details. The devil is in the details. And we look at it and we're like, okay, what are we gonna do here? How are we gonna make it work? Now, when we look at this, um, she says 60 hours of work a week. That's a lot of work. Um, she's listing 50 to 60 items a day. Okay, good. Uh, she's got a half a million followers on Poshmark. She has a built-in team. So again, you'd probably want to get uh, that following. Now, when we do this, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to reverse engineer. I'm gonna growth hack Poshmark because for me, obviously, this is probably one of the fanciest shirts I own. And uh, you know, I'm not a big fashion guy, clearly. But we can take a look here and we can see what is ranking for Poshmark. Because if Poshmark shows up number one for a, a Yeezy slide, which is a sandal, I found that out uh, with the help of my employees here, because I was like, wait a minute, we called them sandals or flip-flops back in the day, but apparently, when you spend, you know, 200 bucks on them, they're now slides, all right? So there you go. But we're gonna take a look and say, okay, they rank for that, so maybe that's what I'm gonna sell. And I'm gonna start to look at all this and make it work, okay? Very, 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 very important. So we're gonna look at that and we are going to uh, take a look and say, yeah, this is what I want to do. Uh, scrubs, uh, Gucci, raw gear, uh, uh, clove shoe, whatever it is, right? And we see that there's all kinds of things. And again, here's the data. Here's the data. That's all we do is we look at the data. I know that it's, it's boring and it's not super entertaining, but the data is what's gonna put the money in your pocket, okay? Very important. If you're not looking at the data, then you know, you're not doing it right. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna take a look at the next one here. Um, and again, if you want these notes, 
downloadmynotes.com, downloadmynotes.com. All right, next up, we got TikTok Daily Side Hustle. Tech Dude says, when does our domain class start? That starts on the 6th of this month. All right, TikTok daily side hustle. Now, this one here is interesting. Um, it says, how an astrology TikToker earned $64,000 a year selling courses and coaching sessions. All right, so this guy here, Sunny MF Money, all right? He's out there and he's putting stuff on TikTok. Now, I will tell you, being in this industry for 23 years, there's a lot of people on TikTok that don't know the value of their audience. Like he's got 560,000 followers. He made 64 grand. Um, you know, I, I, don't, I think he could make more, right? So let's take a look at what he's got going on because we know, hey, side hustle, 64,000, pretty cool. Can he make more? Well, there's lots of astrology videos, 1.5 million, 1.9, 7.4, 5.4. So lots of stuff. And, and this one's interesting because it's like February 2023, which means he's probably coming out with them monthly or daily. Um, lots of stuff. Okay. Now, I don't know much about the astrology niche. All I know is that back in the day, Miss Cleo got sued because she charged people too much or something like that. But if you're doing this ethical and you're doing this in a right way, um, it could be a niche that can work really good. There's a lot of affiliate programs. Um, you can do your own coaching or whatever if you're one of those people that reads into this stuff or whatever. Um, and it can work really well. Like this guy, I think, I think with 560,000 followers in the astrology niche, what we call that is a tight knit group. And what we wanna do here like we said with the 80-20 rule, is we want a tight-knit group of, okay, here's what these people are doing, and I don't want to be the astrology, makeup, jumping jacks, workout, gamer guy. No, I want to be one of them. Now, I could be all of them, but that's going to be on different channels. All right? We're going to separate. So this guy with 560,000 followers, I guarantee he can make a lot more money because of the fact that his group is tight knit. It's very small. It's very specific. And we understand that. And that's where the money comes in. Right? A lot of people, you look at uh, my channel here, and it's not too big. I mean, we were almost at 200,000 subs, which if you're not subscribed, there you go. You got to subscribe, right? Um, and I make a lot of money compared to other people because of the fact that it's a very tight knit group, right? I'm looking at very specific things. Um, and that's what this guy's doing here, which is going out there and, and like, okay, I'm going to do astrology videos. All right, next up, let's take a look here. We got, uh, let's see, what's our next one? Uh, there we go. All right, Amazon Influencer Product Review. And if you guys dig this, smash the like button. Uh, these, are, these are hard videos to do. I mean, I got a bunch of notes. We did a bunch of research. We want to give you good stuff. And if you appreciate that, smash the like button and let us know in the comments. All right, we got Amazon Influencer Product Review Side Hustle. Now, this influencer makes $1,000 or more a month. Can you make 1000 a day doing this? Yes, you can. Is it a grind? Yeah, if you want to make $1,000 a day, a lot of people are like, Marcus, I'm not greedy. I only want $1,000 a day. It's like, okay, have you ever made that before in your life? Well, no. Okay, so you expect to just turn on the internet and because you're not greedy, make 1000 No, that's not how it works. It's going to take some work. It's going to take some effort. And more importantly, it's going to take data. Data is where all this stuff comes together. And when we look at this, she's an Amazon influencer that makes $1,000 or more. Now, she's got a lot of stuff going on on um, TikTok, on Instagram, and she's making videos about beauty. However, her difference is, is that she's doing this with um, Amazon. So she's promoting things on Amazon. Now, this is easy, right? How many of you guys are like me and you buy too much stuff on Amazon, which is why Jeff Bezos is rich? Because it's like, okay, I click here and I buy it, and it shows up at the door faster than I can even buy it, right? Um, and we buy things like this or this. I think everything on this desk was bought on Amazon. What does that mean? Well, that means I can go and I can review it on Amazon and get paid. And did you know there is a side hustle where you could actually review the review via video? It'll show up on the page on Amazon. You don't even need your own traffic. And when it shows up and they watch your video, if that's what causes them to buy, Boom, you get paid. Now, is it a lot? No, it's like a couple percent. But you don't have to do your own traffic and you're making a video on a product you bought anyway. Now, what I would do is I would pair this with data like this gal did. 
right? She paired it with data and she's not even getting that many views, but she paired it with data and she's like, okay, I'm gonna drive these people to my Amazon so it works very, very simple. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have, and if you wanna growth hack that, you literally look at the products, look at the searches, boom, there you go. All right, next up, we got specific social media teacher site. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, come on, come on. This here is a good one. This one is one that a lot of people can make a lot of money and it's completely overlooked. Very important. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna go in and say, okay, how do we become a specific social media teacher side hustler person? This gal here, which you're gonna see in just a second, made nearly two million deer, uh, dealers. Let's say that again. All right, we're, we're gonna try to talk correct. Two million dollars on um, Etsy and TikTok. Now this is important. She made money on Etsy with a course. Okay, wait a minute. So this gal here is selling nursing school courses. And what she's doing is she's helping people pass the exams to become a nurse. And she gets all kinds of views and she talks about it. And we could see here, exam guides, look at all this traffic for a site like exam guides. Look at all this traffic for nursing tutor. And we start to understand, hey, wait a minute. This is pretty cool. Like this is stuff that actually works. We're just gonna follow along with what people are searching for. We're gonna make videos on it. So maybe you were like an HVAC repairman and you took the test and you get, did good on the test. And you're like, hey, I can help other people take the test or the SATs or whatever. I had a guy uh, years ago, this guy was my student, 67 year old dude or 76, one, one of them, I think he was 76. He was retired and everything. And he comes to me and he's like, Marcus, I wanna make money online. And I'm like, okay, cool. And uh, he had a hard time trying to get it. He was like just struggling and struggling and struggling. And all of a sudden he starts making a site because he's like, I am a math guy, right? And he's like, I'm just gonna teach math online. And he made a blog where he's teaching math online. Fast forward a couple months, he's like, dude, I'm making $7,000 a month teaching math online, promoting affiliate products. I'm like, that's pretty cool. You don't even talk to people. It, it was a blog. So he didn't even have to do videos or anything like that. Again, results not typical, implied or guaranteed. The average person makes nothing when trying to make money online. But if you can understand that this is a business and we look at it like a business, like Tim says, HVAC engineering formulas. Actually, no, he was doing um, math for like regular general ed math, simple stuff. Well, not simple to me. You know, he's doing calculus. I'm like, I don't know. I don't understand any of that. I, I didn't show up that day in school or many other days I didn't show up at school. But I look at this and I'm like, hey, this is how it works, and I probably should have stayed in school. I do like learning. But you know, you look at this and you're like, okay, I get it, this is how it works. So when we're doing these side hustles, if you wanna to get to $1,000 a day, again, results not typical, implied or guaranteed, you need to understand what it's going to take. If we look at the nursing tutor, and we're like, okay, how would, it, how would we do that? Like, she's making two million, which is about 10,000, or what, $8,000 a day, $6,000 a day, I think seven is the magic number there. Uh, so she's doing $7,000 a day. So if I could do one seventh of what she's doing or the motorhome guy, right? He's making 150 grand a year. Maybe I can uh, do double what he's doing, which all he's doing is uh, just answer. So maybe I could pair that with a blog. Hell, I'm answering the questions anyway. Why not put it on a blog? I got the content already. And a lot of people don't realize that this is very simple to do. Um, you can see, uh, JustAnswer.com. You could see what they rank for, and you could say, "Hey, maybe I'll get in there. Maybe there's some knowledge that I have that I didn't think was that valuable, but hey, it actually is." Um, you could take a look at Etsy, right? Etsy is like, "Okay, candles are working. Let's make it work. Very simple, right? Let's make the candles work. Uh, let's go out there. Let's do um, what else here? Uh, this guy on Etsy." or the blogging side hustle, very cool. It's like, hey, we can look at it and we can take a look at exactly what they're doing, exactly what they're promoting and how they're making money. And when you understand that all of this is going to take work, but more importantly, it's gonna take the right data so you make the right decisions so that you can make money. That is the key. And if you wanna learn more about this, you can go over to uh, downloadmynotes.com for the notes. If you wanna work with me and Basically, I buy domains all the time, like the trailer one we showed earlier, or um, I think just yesterday we sold the guitar one, and it was uh, customguitarbuild.com, 
And you can see here, uh, this thing ranked for all kinds of stuff related to guitar build, how to paint a guitar. Again, very specialized knowledge. Now he's gonna come to me to do. And the more you stick to that set of data, and the more chance you're gonna have at making this work. And whether it's a side hustle or a complete business you wanna do, smash a like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video, which I think is either Friday or Monday, where we're gonna have a guy on that's actually doing side hustles like this and testing side hustles 